What's up guys and in today's video we're going to be definitively answering the question about who's the best ads management company in the business between AdSense, Ezoic and Mediavine. So we had a very good month in June and during the month we switched one site from AdSense to Ezoic and one site from Ezoic to Mediavine. So it was a very exciting month and we're in an excellent position to give you a breakdown about who offers the best service and support and most importantly who's going to give you the most money and RPMs for your hard earned blog traffic. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So jumping straight into the meat and bones of the video, we're comparing three of the big boys, AdSense, Ezoic and Mediavine. And as I've already mentioned, we switch one site from AdSense to Ezoic. It's a kind of smaller site, but one we have high hopes for. And we switch one site to Ezo from Ezoic to Mediavine. Site that got bigger, we didn't actually put in that much work to it. But we've done very very well with our keyword research and as always we've got the keyword research um, course link down below if you want to get that it's very well priced or you can get our free blogging pdf which is also linked in the description so i just want to go through about each company how easy it was to set up on their ad platform what the ads were like and if they slowed down the site and stuff like that and what the money and rpms were like most importantly and there were some big differences as well so here at Insider Growth, we are into passive income. And if you're into passive income as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So site number three, uh, we have about six sites, but we were, we're working on three of them actively at the moment. And we call this one site number three because it's the smallest one we're actively working on. But as you can see here in the analytics, we've achieved some very good and consistent growth in the last three to four months. And we're really pushing this now as well to see how much more we can get. So this was the site we moved from AdSense to Ezoic. And actually, Google AdSense, we've noticed that their earnings have picked up a little bit in recent months. So we're getting higher um, RPMs and more money basically for our views. And I think that's to do with, um, basically they're showing a full screen ad when you click from one page to the other page. And that is actually drawing in a lot of clicks. So I think that's what's, um, that's what's pushing the earnings up. But we actually did pretty well and if you look from march to june for this site number three we did an rpm of six euros 51 cents which is about eight dollars or eight dollars fifty which is the highest rpm i've seen on google adsense which just um just leads me to believe that things are improving with google adsense and it's getting a little bit better and because the earnings have gone up it's a more valuable asset to small smaller sites because there's no entry requirements and it's simple to set up. So the pros and cons of AdSense, um, fast, easy, automated approval. So it's not like um, a campaign manager is gonna look at it and accept or reject. It's gonna be accepted automatically by the system. You can just hit the button of auto ads once you add in the AdSense code onto your website and then just hit the auto ads button and that's all you need to do. It'll work with artificial intelligence to get the best ad placements and make you the most money. Or you can also get hands-on and um, work on the ad placements yourself, which is gonna be a lot more work, which is why I like to work with the auto ads feature. But overall, AdSense is an excellent way to earn your first few dollars from your blog, because you can get on with even five or 10 visitors a day and earn a couple of cents a day. And the RPMs have, have improved in recent months as well. The cons of AdSense are the lower RPMs. It's the lowest out of the three companies we're looking at today. The auto ads, it's all done by our artificial intelligence. So sometimes it can block your content. And um, the ads can be quite intrusive, like the full screen ad between clicks or between visiting pages is quite intrusive. And the RPMs vary widely from day to day, depending on how many clicks the ads get as well. So moving this site, the Ezoic and Quite quickly, we developed um, an RPM of 1276 altogether since it moved to Ezoic, but that is growing steadily. And we can see that that's, that number has jumped up to a $17 RPM with Ezoic, which is really, really good. Um, just uh, about Ezoic, since we already had a site with them or a couple of sites with them, you just email support and the site gets quickly approved. They've recently got rid of their minimum requirement for traffic. So no matter how many, how much traffic you have, you can get approved now by Ezoic. You have to do all the ad placements yourself, which I'm not a fan of because I'm so busy creating content. I want the ad management company to do all the ad placements for me, but you don't get that with Ezoic. You need to set up all the ad placements yourself. It's a cumbersome 
um, setup process and you need some technical skills to actually do it. You need to change your um, domain name servers to point to Ezoic. Um, you got to do, you got to add an ads txt plugin. So there's a bit involved with it. It's not as easy as AdSense or Mediavine. You obviously get higher earnings than AdSense. Um, you have access to better ads and um, the double click ad exchange. You have access to that with Ezoic. So naturally you're going to have higher earnings. The ads look okay. They do slow down the site a little bit, um, but you do have full control of where the ads are placed. You have good support. It's outsourced to India, but it is pretty good. They get back to you quickly and they do try to um, sort out your problems. And as I said, there's no limit on the visitors you need to have to join up. And it's got a nicer reporting interface and better ads than AdSense. Pros and cons of Ezoic. Uh, pros, they recently removed the minimum traffic requirement. You've total control over your ad placements, increased earnings over AdSense and a better dashboard. And they also have better ads and they also have a nice affiliate program. Cons, they, a lot of people do say that it slows down the site quite a bit. You get lower RPMs than with Mediavine and they lack transparency on the percentage of the earnings that you get and what they keep, which I think is a big one because they're offering lower RPMs than, he's, than Mediavine, who are transparent about how much of the income you're going to get. So it just leads me to believe that they're taking a good, nice, large chunk of your earnings. And then they've got a paid premium program where you actually pay them. And whatever you pay them, they give you access to the premium ad suppliers. And whatever you pay, you're going to earn more in, um, in revenue than what you pay, which sounds good. But for new bloggers, you want to get money in after creating all your content. You don't want to spend on the premium program for earnings you're going to get in two months. So it doesn't make sense for me and I don't like it. And you need to change your website's domain name servers and there's no setup of the ad placements offered by Ezoic. So Ezoic is good, but it's not great. So site number two, move from Ezoic to Mediavine. And with this site, we had really, really good growth from May to June. So we wrote to Mediavine and asked would they accept this site, which they actually did below the 50,000 monthly sessions that are required. And we, it took a little bit of time, but um, we got the ads running. So with Mediavine, once you're approved, you get in touch with their technical team and they do everything on your website, like fixing your sidebar and making sure all your HTML is perfect for the ads to run. And they set up all the ad placements for you as well. You get some options in the interface about how many ads you'd like to show per page and stuff like that. But overall, the ads are crisp, sharp and smooth. And they're very transparent about the percentage of the income that you get. So you get 75% up front. When you hit 5 million ad impressions, it goes to 80%. And every year that you're with them, you get an extra percent as well. So they offer excellent support and there's a good community. There's a thriving Facebook group where you can keep up to date with everything that's going on in the blogging world. And most importantly, they offer excellent RPMs. So you can see this site before we moved it to Mediavine, it was with Ezoic and we were doing an RPM of about $7.75, close to $8, which the content on this site is a bit shorter. So we thought that that was um, pretty decent. $7.73 was the RPM with Ezoic and then we moved it to Mediavine. And you can see here the most recent day we did an RPM of uh, $18.79, which is almost um, a 300% increase. And the RPM since we moved, um, the RPM in July has been $14.19, which is really good. And overall, since we moved, $12.23, but we expect that to climb as we're with them for a month or two and the ad providers get to know our website and stuff like that. So very, very happy with Mediavine. Again, second site, I've been very, very happy with them. Um, and for me, they're the best ad company in the business right now. Pros and cons of Mediavine. Best RPMs, community and customer support. Highest earnings consistently with transparent revenue splits. You earn more money each year that you're with them. So you get a loyalty bonus and as you grow, so it's plus 5% for 5 million ad impressions, which you should hit at around the 15,000 users per day mark. Seriously high RPMs, especially in quarter four. So what happens with, in quarter four with blogging? Um, companies have their yearly budget and since the year is coming to an end, they throw it all into online advertising and that drives the amount of money that you earn through the roof and you've all things like Black Friday, which everyone wants to advertise for. So in November and December, you're looking at RPMs that could be 
50 or 60 dollars which is just insane earnings and they have the best dashboard and hands-on technical support team so since they set everything up for you then when you go to them with a problem they're quick and very effective to fix it but i haven't um, come across too many problems myself cons it needs 50,000 monthly sessions so there is a barrier to entry you have good control over your ad placements but not 100 percent and it can be a wait of a few weeks between when your site gets approved and your ads are up and running and the payment is net 60 days so what you earn uh, in june will be paid in september so quite a bit of a wait to actually get your hands on the money but once you're rolling and getting paid every month by mediavine then you've got two months in advance so it helps you to plan out a little bit better so looking at the stats again site 3 which is our smallest site went from an rpm of 6 euro 51 cent or eight dollars to 17 dollars on ezoic which is an rpm increase of nine dollars or 110 percent site 2 went from 750 on ezoic to 18 dollars so far on mediavine which is an increase of about 120 percent which is pretty good and site one the one that we did last year our biggest site it was doing an rpm of 862 on ezoic um, and it's doing over 30 dollar rpms now consistently on mediavine so that's an increase of about 300 percent so looking at the three providers um, scores out of 100 adsense set up 96 out of 100 it's by far the easiest one to set up earnings 78 out of 100 it's not great but it is what it is ad quality 82 out of 100 auto ads is pretty good but it does make some mistakes and the ads are a bit intrusive support 40 out of 100 you're not going to get any support out of google or adsense at all really and overall 74 out of 100 ezoic set up 86 out of 100 very hands-on you need technical knowledge earnings 87 out of 100 a good bit better than adsense but not perfect ad quality 84 out of 100 they're just not as sharp and crisp as mediavine and they slow down the side a little bit support 92 out of 100 it's outsourced to india but they do come back to you quickly but some of the answers that they give are a bit questionable and overall 85 out of 100 mediavine setup is 94 out of 100 so they look after everything for you but it can take a little bit of time earnings 98 out of 100 rpms with mediavine are through the roof and we're very very happy with that ad quality 96 out of 100 support 96 out of 100 and overall 96 out of 100 so just one quick recap of the three companies adsense have improved their rpms a lot recently you have auto ads or complete control over your ad placements depending what you're into no minimum traffic requirement and it can be good as a first step ezoic is hands-on technical and a more complex setup better ads and earnings than adsense have to pay for premium which doesn't make sense for me and there's now no minimum monthly traffic requirement which is good for the industry and it's good for people starting new blogs mediavine Best ads and RPMs by far, best community and best dashboard, but it needs 50,000 sessions per month and you need to have a little bit of wait for approval and you need to wait for a bit to get paid as well, but they're the best ad management company by far for me. So that wraps up the video. If you can get onto Mediavine, get onto them and stay with them. And we're into passive income at Insider Growth, so if you are too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.